We'll have to see what Adobe has next in terms of Flash, but I mean it's been a great ride with 98% uh, penetration of uh, Flash on different uh, uh, PCs, so uh, you know, we'll continue to ride that wave. Uh, but when we start looking at video codecs, we see uh, live starting to take uh, 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 an uptick. Uh, we're seeing a lot more requests for live video. Uh, we also are starting to see some of the requests in next generation video codecs and uh, things something like uh, scalable video codecs which basically means that you now have uh, one bitstream uh, that's encoded for all, all sorts of devices whether it's high definition or low bit rate. So on the flash side live high definition uh, are the near-term things that I can see. Flash will come to the mobile phones through Flashlight 3 and um, from um, our perspective we're really, that, that's again where the Hunter acquisition helps us. Uh, I, I've said this before, if you look at the mobile phone market you have a billion phones that are shipped every year. By 2010 70 percent of those phones are going to be video enabled. Off that 70 percent, 15 percent are smartphones and 55 percent are single chip phones. So from an on two perspective, we've always been able to address that 15% segment. But now with the pending Hantro acquisition, it will enable us to address the 55% through the embedded. Uh, so if I can be specific on phone types, if you look at, say, the Motorola series of phones as an example, uh, the Q phone is a smartphone that's programmable, it's downloadable, you can put a new codec in there. But the Razer, which sells by far the largest volume for them, is a single chip phone and that requires an embedded offering and that's where the technologies and the capabilities that Hantro brings to the table helps us. Similarly if you look at the Nokia series 60 and uh, N95 and so forth, those are smartphones, the series 40s are single chip phones and we are working with the various device manufacturers to be able to cover the entire addressable base. Live is starting to take off because video is becoming ubiquitous. It's becoming video in communications, it's becoming video in entertainment, it's video in business and uh, so live starts taking on a whole new realm of if you can encode with your uh, uh, you know a laptop or your cell phone and then be able to broadcast directly uh, it becomes powerful and codec technologies become important in that realm so we're seeing uh, an uptick in requests for live. Uh, we're also being requested to do enhanced live encoding, two pass live encoders. Uh, so you'll see stuff uh, coming out from us down that path. So, yeah, you know, live is uh, becoming more and more important.